Tuska, Oklahoma is set on the wide open plains. It regularly is the stage for rough weather. But when the storm of the century turns into a trio of twisters, the situation quickly spins out of control. Jason Miller and his family have lived in Oklahoma their whole lives. When they hear that a tornado is approaching, they know they need to get to the shelter fast. It said it's touching down in Tushka. So you know, I told my wife that we need to leave now. The local storm shelter is at a school just three blocks away. A school surveillance camera records their red car as they rush to beat the twister. On the video, you can see as soon as we got into the parking lot, you can see the tree right behind the car fall down. And right where that tree's at is where the shelter is. But the Millers are too late. The tornado is already upon them. As soon as I got out of the vehicle, it was pure panic. I, I didn't know what to do. I mean, it, it blew us back three steps as we would take one. Miller and his wife, Desiree, each clutch one of their children. They will have to face the storm unprotected. All they can do is huddle by a fence and try to hang on. I mean, there was a lot of debris flying around. It was just gravel hitting things is pretty much all that you could hear. The noise is so deafening and the debris and dust so blinding that Desiree can't see her husband, even though he is two feet away. I couldn't find him, so I ran back to the car trying to find my husband and my daughter. I didn't know where they went and ended up hearing him shout, very low shout. Honey, I'm over here. He reached his arm out and we both walked over to him. Then all hell breaks loose. The tornado is right on top of them. It's pure hopelessness. I mean, there was absolutely nothing that I could ever think of to do. I mean, at that point, my mind was just blank. It's an EF3 tornado with winds over 136 miles per hour. Then it was just holding on after that. Everybody got real quiet. And the kids weren't really screaming or anything. I think they were just so scared. Out of the corner of my eye, I see my, my <laughs> brand new vehicle start coming toward us really fast. The tornado lifts up the family's car and pushes it towards them. Miraculously, it stops before pinning them against the fence. I thought that car was going to crush us. Going through my mind at that time was, dear Lord, take my kids. Please hold them tight. I was really concerned that it was going to keep coming. Uh, there was nowhere for us to go because kind of, I kind of cornered myself between a brick wall and a fence. Just when the Miller family has lost all hope of survival, they feel the winds weaken. Slowly, the tornado moves away. At the very end, I looked around and you know the hail had stopped and there was nothing blowing around anymore and I started seeing people coming out of the shelter. So I was like, okay, we, we need to go to the shelter. We need to make sure the children are okay. This is Tushka's school, absolutely destroyed. Across the county, the devastating storm causes millions of dollars in property damage and takes the lives of two people. For the Millers, simply walking away is a blessing. This is just, I've, I've never seen anything other than a movie that compares to this. Our backs and our bodies look like somebody had shot us with uh, rock salt out of a shotgun. The debris was hitting us so hard. I don't know how we survived, but I'm glad we did. Scars and bruises heal over time, and while the Miller family feels lucky to be alive, this killer storm has changed them forever. I tell my son to draw a picture, and he draws a picture of a thunderstorm now with a funnel, and everything around is destroyed. It's not a happy picture. You know, you may think one way for all your life until you come into an experience where it's life or death. <laughs> And after that, you, you kind of change the way you live and uh, be thankful for what you have. 